you guys? It's Valley Vaughn the Perfume Don back at you with another very special video. I'm really, really excited because as you know, today we're gonna be discussing the top fragrances for mothers for Mother's Day. So I selected five fragrances from my collection that I think would just be perfect for Mother's Day. I think that women who are, you know, elegant and just exude that confidence that I feel like you gain once you become a mother would really really enjoy. I kind of tried to keep it very diverse but also appropriate for this season spring summer transitioning so it's going to be like lighter fresher fragrances. Um, please let me know of course if you try any of these what do you think of them and let's get right into it. So the first one is going to be from Oscar de la Renta. I admittedly picked up this fragrance as a blind buy ended up really really liking it. It's a nice fresh floral. So this is Oscar Oscar de la Renta Bella Blanca. This one just smells like nice fresh white flowers to me. If you are a woman or if your mother is a woman who really enjoys fresh clean scents with just like a hint of floral, it's not too overbearing, then I think she would really really enjoy this scent. It definitely kind of reminds me of like Dove pink soap a little bit, but just look at that. I mean that is such a beautiful but I mean that bottle is just so freaking beautiful I mean seriously it, it literally looks like you know I don't know like architecture no it looks like sculptured like it looks like it was like sculptured plaster that sort of thing a statue whatever um, but very beautiful it is a light scent so this is perfect also if your mother doesn't re really like strong overbearing scents and I think she would really really like this one as well um but overall this is definitely for people who really like a fresh clean simple kind of a fragrance great for the office great for casual but then also it has an elegant air to it to where you can wear it if she wants to go on like a casual date on the weekend that sort of thing with your dad or whatever her new boo happens to be but yeah i really like this one and i think it's beautiful and elegant for mothers okay the next one that we have i'm actually wearing this as my scent of the day and i cannot believe that i slept on this for so long i ordered this maybe two years ago i don't know why i think i just found like a really good deal online but i'm just wearing it now and it is the perfect spring fragrance so this is a very odd bottle to me it came in like this huge cylinder but this is flower by kenzo um it has rose it has cassius flower it has violet wild hawthorn and then the thing that i smell the most is that it's very powdery it literally smells like baby powder i think because it has iris in there does it say that it doesn't say that but i feel like it has iris in there definitely get a lot of the vanilla that it has in there as well it just smells like a powdery fresh floral a powdery fresh floral vanilla scent like you get a tad bit of sweetness, but it's definitely very powdery. And I, I really like this fragrance. Like honestly, I did not think that Kenzo flower would smell like this, but it just smells really, really nice. Again, very elegant. Something about powdery just screams like a mature woman who's assertive, she's sure of herself, and she knows what she wants. And hopefully she wants this fragrance. It has been out for quite a long time, so you can find a really, really good deal. Same with the Oscar de la Renta Bella Blanca. Um, they might even be discontinued at this moment, but check your TJ Maxx's, your Ross's, um, your Marshall's, and you might find some really good deals from them. I also really, really love, I don't have it in my possession, but I love the Kenzo Flower Elixir. I think that's the name of it. I'll insert a picture, but that one's like a lot sweeter. So if you like sweet, heavier, almost like a syrupy kind of scent, then check out that one. But this is like a powdery, vanilla, floral, white floral kind of a fragrance. Okay, so the next one that I have is for the women who really like a woody scent. Um, something that's not too feminine. I know a lot of women actually like more masculine fragrances. So I feel like this one could be worn by a woman or a man. And it's from one of my favorite lines, fragrance lines of all time, from Jo Malone. This is Wood Sage and Sea Salt. So it definitely smells very beachy. It kind of just smells like, you know, if you're walking in Maine by the Atlantic Ocean, the driftwood that um, comes up onto shore, that's what it smells like to me with the saltiness of the sea as well. And a little bit of like an herbal element, green element because it has the sage in there, but it just smells like a very fresh, clean, elegant, woody fragrance. I love this. I think I just got this as like a sample when I purchased some Jo Malone. I was like, where did I get this tiny bottle from? But sometimes they give you samples if you're nice to the person when you purchase from a Jo Malone boutique but also I have been trying out this woody sage from Dossier and it is inspired by the Jo Malone wood sage and sea salt and they literally smell pretty much identical so if you want to save some money you don't want to spend that much 
much and definitely check out Dossier. You can order their fragrances. I think they range from $29 to $49 for designer and niche inspired fragrances. You can order risk free. Try it out. Once you get it, if you don't like it, you can ship it back and they'll refund your money. Of course, you can't use the entire thing and ship it back. But if you spray it a few times and it's not really your jam, then feel free to ship it back to them and you won't lose out on your money. But for the Woody Sage, it has fig tree, grapefruit, marine notes, amberette, clary sage, and amber wood. So, I mean, it smells very similar and dead on to the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I like them both and, you know, it's totally your preference. Maybe you could just grab this one, the Dossier one to put in her purse when she's going along, but then also you can grab the actual Wood Sage and Sea Salt so it's kind of like her signature scent. Because I think this is a signature scent worthy fragrance. Like, this is something you want to smell like all the time. It's very versatile. Great for the office, going to church, even for like, you know, a black tie affair or a wedding. Like, this is a really great fragrance. So, definitely on my recommended list. I want to show you guys um, my shirt that I have on. I got it from Amazon. I love it so much. I think it's really cute for when you're just like around the house and you're just like hanging out. But, you, you know, you're around the house on the weekend or throughout the week and you want to look, you know, a little bit put together but you don't want to be really uncomfortable. I think this is a really cute top. I have my bra strap showing, so excuse that. But it has a nice thick um, band, so it can cover your bra strap. The material is really good too. Like it's like a thicker material, so it feels like a little bit more expensive, but also it's not too warm. Like you can totally wear this in the spring, summer. And I just love this color. I feel like it looks very elegant. I'm really into like the military hues, that sort of thing. And I just have it on with some biker shorts, but I really love this. I'll link it below if you guys are interested. And then also I like this cut. Like I feel like it's feminine because it shows just like a little bit of your chest, but then it's not like too much to where, you know, you're going to offend someone or, <laughs> or feel uncomfortable if there's children around. So really like this blouse. And of course it will be linked below. So the next one that we have is going to be from I Can't pronounce the name I believe it's called Bulgari Bulgari but this one is Iris Dior Iris Dior I don't know how you pronounce it but it's a pretty much a fresh but it's pretty much a floral iris scent again iris or oris they usually take on a powdery component within fragrances this one also has like a bright a nature about it though like I get bright sparkly almost like a citrus blast when you first spray but then it dries down to this soft powdery floral elegant fragrance and I think it's so beautiful I love the bottle. I think it's beautiful. It's called Splendi, Splendida. I'm gonna call it Splenda. Splendida <laughs> Iris Dior and that's from Bulgari. And I mean, just look at that. That's so beautiful. I mean, just look at this bottle. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's, it's literally stunning. I mean, when you get someone a gift, presentation is definitely a part of it. And I just think this is so freaking beautiful. But yeah, love this one. This is a very elegant kind of a scent. I don't think this is a casual at all. This is definitely like your mom's a boss, she's going to work, that sort of thing. I think it's great, again, if you're going to events this summer as the world's opening up, if you're going to weddings, or if you're going to like brunch affairs, that sort of thing. I think she would really enjoy it for that, but it's very beautiful. And also I feel like this is signature scent worthy because I don't hear a lot of people talk about this fragrance since it's slept on, girl. So the last fragrance is going to be from Burberry. I haven't purchased a Burberry scent for a very long time, but I remember when I first discovered this one, also a blind buy, I was like, wow, this is very, very beautiful. This is a very musky kind of a scent, which also I associate with being like a little bit more of like a mature kind of a scent profile. So this is so this is Burberry Body. This is the EDP, the Eau de Parfum. I think I think that they do have a EDT Eau de Toilette, but I have not tried that one. But yeah, so this one's a musky peach fragrance. I think it's perfect for spring summer. Emphasis on the musky. If you're not typically, or she, if she's not typically into musky fragrances, then she wouldn't enjoy this one because it is very musky. And then it has like a background of like a juicy, fleshy, of a juicy, fleshy peach. I love this fragrance. I feel like this fragrance actually lasts really, really good. It has a nice scent profile as far as like a trail. Um, and then also you're gonna like kind of like enter the room with it. It's not very robust to where people are like, dang, what do you have on? But it definitely has a presence to it. And it definitely, definitely smells like a more mature woman. Like I would not recommend this to a very, very young girl, even though of course you could be a mother at any age, teens, 20s, whatever. This one definitely reads a little bit more mature, um, which I really enjoy. And it's definitely that grown woman sexy vibe. Definitely I'm thinking like date nights in the summertime kind of a vibe. Um, but this is a boss fragrance for sure. And then also I, I love this packaging. It's a sphere. I think it's so pretty. Yeah, I think it inspired the KKW uh, bottles, but 
what do I know, girl? But yeah, I think it's really pretty. It's like a rose gold in there and it actually does stand up. So that's something that I really, really like about it. But yeah, those are my picks for Mother's Day fragrances. Please let me know if you know any of those fragrances. I know that a lot of them, they're not really around like that. So let me know if you know any of those scents and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Happy Mother's Day. Peace.